Okay, uh, I already showed you guys this app uh, in a live video on my phone because I wanted to show you how it worked with the phone and how easy it is to work with, um, you know, the the uh, voice to text option on pretty much every phone has that now. But I wanted to give you a little better look at this and show you it running on my desktop since it is a web app and uh, it's compatible with all major current browsers. Um, you could be adding stuff uh, here on your desktop as well. You could also package, package this into an executable uh, and make it seem like a desktop app if you wanted. Uh, it's one of the great things about uh, web development uh, is it's, it can be done remotely, locally, uh, depending on exactly what you want to do. Um, but this is uh, in the video before you, you saw me add these things to the list. We removed some stuff, but real quick, you can see I click on sausages there and silverware there removes it. Now both lists are empty. The uh, lists don't disappear once they're empty until I refresh. So I'll refresh my browser here. And this is the app that it looks like uh, anything. You got your text box here and you got your uh, add items button here. So once again, just like I showed in the other video, uh, once again, this is designed so it's a little bit easier when you're talking to it using uh, voice to text, which I could actually integrate since I'm using Chrome. You can use uh, some some code in your HTML to add a little microphone off to here. And if you have a microphone, do voice. But you can also type it. So I'll give you an example. I'll type in, well, uh, here's some stuff I've typed to practice. Uh, I just put in some weird words. I threw in an apostrophe here to make sure this worked. So if I click add items, it will add them to the list. I also uh, have, um, so adding items takes a little second because it's got to upload all of it to the server and then refresh the page. Um, I did just to make sure, make it easier for me to check for duplicate uh, items. So basically if I was to run that again and remove some of these items, you know, I, I can submit that form again, and it does it checks for duplicates using uh, PHP uh, on the uh, MySQL server. So you won't get more than one thing uh, identical on a list. Um, and once again, they're very easy to remove. Uh, they remove a little bit faster because the whole page doesn't have to refresh. And apostrophes don't mess things up. I can also say uh, Publix. I'll just, just as an example, uh, throw 10% off to see if this percentage sign messes anything up. And I'll click Add Items. And you can see, once the page refreshes, that we have 10% uh, off here. And we can remove it, no problem. Uh, and we can have multiple lists like uh, Target, um, Apples, Bananas, NA, NA, yeah. Um, and basically, as I said in the other video, this is uh, the first item is the store, the list you want to put it under. Uh, it doesn't have to be a store. You can make lists for anything. And then each item after that, separated by a comma, is what goes on that list. So I'll add that. And you'll see once I add, it refreshes the page. Remove Publix. Um, we have a, a blank bar here. That's because I put a tailing comma at the end there. So that's a, that's a little bit of something. That's something I could definitely... Uh, uh, remove if I needed to uh, from the script but for my wife and I this this works fairly well so once again uh, basically this is an app that me and my wife use I just rewrote because originally I wrote it um, using uh, JavaScript and uh, bash on the server and saved everything in text files which certain special characters like apostrophes would screw stuff up and then I'd have to manually go in and remove lists and stuff from the lists so now that I rewrote it using uh, jQuery mobile using Ajax for the removal of items so the whole page doesn't have to refresh using PHP and MySQL for the storage of the the data uh, just makes things a little bit better I am far from a professional in any of those languages um, but I have created a series of tutorials for you guys on jQuery, which I will be releasing in the coming weeks. After that, I'll go into jQuery mobile a little bit, and then we'll look into actually taking those and turning them into desktop applications. On a, on uh, The problem with taking them and turning them into desktop talk, top applications is that you have to repackage them for each operating system you use. So even though your program is exactly the same, you got to package it for Android, which we'll go over. Package it for Linux, which is multiple ways to do. Uh, package it for Windows into an EXE file in multiple different ways. Um, we can put, we can write the package in C++ and then you just have to recompile it for, for Windows or Linux, you know, uh, whatever operating system you want. But your application itself 
uh, since it's using HTML and JavaScript as far as the user end goes, uh, it it's should be compatible on uh, all major browsers, uh, all major operating systems. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next couple months. Uh, don't worry, I will also be alternating that with Bash script or Shell script tutorials because uh, those seem to be my most popular tutorials, but I do like to throw other things out there. So I'll probably be alternating each week. I'll probably do a video on on jQuery or jQuery mobile and then a video on shell scripts so I'm gonna hit you know get everybody all my viewers wanna make everybody happy um, so that was this be sure to watch the other video if you haven't of me actually using this on my phone I just thought I'd do a desktop recording of it so it would look a little bit nicer than me pointing a camera at my phone um, once again this was just an app I made for me and my wife uh, but you can definitely do a lot more complicated stuff we'll probably get into some user interfaces I'll try to make up something for um, for like some sort of business use and, and not make the full application, but maybe just the user interface. We'll see. Uh, still a little while away from that. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there should be a link in the description. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials. And as I said earlier, uh, check out my website. Link in the description, filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.